photography and taking pictures is about creating an image which evokes a certain emotion, evokes uh, a certain reaction from the viewer. Through photography I can lead so many different lives in a day because I get this access, I'm kind of a fly on the wall and for me that's fascinating. I've got a lot of different types of camera, some are film, some are digital. The camera ultimately is just a tool. The whole concept of a pinhole camera is that you can create an image by creating an aperture, i.e. a hole, allowing the light to go through that and to um, imprint on film or digital sensor. It's a very basic idea because it's light entering through a hole and you're capturing that. It's kind of simplistic, but it's beautiful in its way. I think we're shooting in London post kind of 9-11 and photographers have been targeted quite a lot because, you know, inherently people get suspicious if they see somebody taking pictures. I personally think that's quite kind of sad because I think that the power of photography, especially street photography, to document and to kind of record is incredibly important. And, you know, when we lose that, we kind of lose a big part of our cultural heritage. Today we're going to go to the Haygate Estate, which is uh, quite an infamous estate in South London. The estate has been around for, for many, many years and has been used in backdrops of lots of films. It's kind of quite an iconic building. It's very brutalist, it's pretty ugly looking, but um, it's certainly left a, a mark on the landscape of the Elephant and Castle. We'll see how, see whether or not this works. So it's got these strange kind of artefacts where the dust the dust is on the sensor, and the picture itself is quite soft, but you can see those bits of dust really clearly. It just makes it look like a really knackered old picture, which is kind of interesting, because in a way, that's kind of a interpretation of, um, you know, taking a picture, but a picture that's almost timeless. Kind of what we're after. <laughs> 